a lot of missed bites today, but. Oh yeah, we're gonna bite here now. Yeah. That's a fish. Feels bigger. Man, it's on that big piece of cut buffalo over in the sticks. Yeah, the sun comes out and things are really getting going. Holy cow. What's up, y'all? Today, I'm gonna throw a bunch of baits in a small creek, try and catch something big. Whoa. All right, let's check out these baits. Some of these smaller carp. I mean, you ever seen such a great bait? The hole's kind of up here, so, and it kind of ends around these trees over here, so. It's fairly large for this creek, 15 foot or so. So we'll give it a shot. Probably just hook him right here, kind of towards the back. We'll try and get down here without falling in the water. It's very steep. Well, we fell in the water all right. And once again, on my fishing adventures, we're, we're muddy. If you don't like mud, you won't like my channel. It's a rough and tumble life out here. I'm gonna put some worms on this second to right rod right here. Never know what you'll catch on a worm. Some worms on a one-out hook. worm. Don't know what it is. Probably a channel. What do we got? This is right off the bank too is where I put it. <laughs> That's nice. What do we got? Probably a channel cat. Looks like it. But hey, we got a bite. It's exciting. Channel. Sweet. Got 20 pound braid. I'm going to try and flip them up here. Ah. There's our first fish of the day, a channel cat. Caught him right off the bank here on that gob of worms. I'll put some more worms out there. Man, that's a bigger fish. Oh, that's a buffalo, fun. Uh-oh, we may have just caught bait. Yeah, it's a buffalo on the worm. Really exciting. Oh, he's crazy too. I kinda need my fish grips. I don't know how well he's hooked. Buffaloes can be de-hooked kinda easily. Yes, what a great catch. What a glorious catch. I'm gonna try and get my grippers real quick. I love fishing with worms. You do not know what you'll catch. Are we gonna turn them into bait? I gotta think so. At this point, you know, flathead, channel cat, whatever. I'm just out to catch fish. It's a nice buffalo too. Real nice buffalo. Some pretty gnarly terrain. Got him. That's a stud. I am gonna weigh him. I'll do that real quick. And then we're gonna make cut bait out of him, guys. Right now, all I've got is carp and worms, but we're in pursuit of big catfish, so buffalo fillets make really good bait. So we'll say about seven pounds. Yeah, guys, worms. And by the way, we've caught the channel cat and the buffalo here, like just a few feet from the shore. Um, like I'll show you how far we're casting here.
it's hard to beat the bait that's a catch in the same place that you're fishing. That's a piece of buffalo, pretty big piece. We're gonna put it in the deep of the hole. Got a bite on the worm. Something bumped it. It wants it. Something's chewing on this worm. Real soft biting. So we've got cut buffalo here. Worms, cut buffalo, and then a live carp. Yeah, something's on there, man. I'm watching it. Wow, what is that? Oh, channel cat? Really a soft biting channel cat, wow. Might be able to flip him up. Just barely nibbling on the worms. All right, fish number three. Not the monster we're after, but you know what? It's just a blessing to be out here, to catch a fish, to be able to do this. I'm really happy about this one and a quarter pound channel cap. Okay guys, I think we're at a point where we might try and get crazy with stuff. Got some corn I'm gonna chum. Just keep the species going. I'm out here to catch whatever, man. I'm just gonna chum right out here with the where we've been getting activity with the worms, the buffalo and stuff. And we'll fish with worms for a little bit, but putting corn on a hook is a very viable option as well. Anyways, we're just gonna flip this out like we have been, just a few feet off the shore. Would love to increase our species count because we've caught a channel, two channels, and a buffalo. And I'd like to catch more buffalo, maybe carp, more channel cats. There's a few blues in here. I, I only caught one ever, but love to catch a flathead or maybe something crazy like a 40 pound grouse carp. I don't know. I'm just out here to catch fish in the fall because after today, Next time I go fishing by next week, it's going to be pretty well winter time. And I love winter fishing, but I'm holding on to the end of the warm weather here. And the water's cold, but it's just not super cold yet. All right, if it takes line out, I'm setting the hook. It is. What's that? That's heavier. Wow, nice buff. What a day this is, man. Oh, now he's gonna freak out. Wow. Okay, guy, you're pretty strong. How beautiful. Did I make that ring or are we about to get bit on the cut bait on the shallows? Huh. Let's get these grippers. I like these grippers for buffalo. Buffalo are super slimy and um, also kind of hard to grab. I don't have a great place to grab. Yeah, second buff of the day. It's been a while since I've had a good buffalo day. This one is nice size, maybe a touch smaller than the other. I love creek fishing, man. Fun buffalo on the worms again. That's the fourth fish of the day. Two channels, two buffaloes. Of the two, which do I like catching better? Buffaloes. Pretty nice fight. 
and they're just bigger and they're cool people don't really like buffaloes but i have a lot of appreciation for them okay bud there he goes see ya All right, we're definitely getting a bite on the worms. And we missed again. How can that be? How can that be? Put it a little bit deeper there. I mean, it, it could be we're getting bit by catfish that are this big or drum that are this big or whatever, so. Miss bites today, but oh yeah, we're gonna bite here now. Yeah, that's a fish. Feels bigger, man. It's on that big piece of cut buffalo over in the sticks. This is running like a really big channel cap, but. I don't know what it is. My camera running? Yeah. Yeah, the sun comes out and things are really getting going. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wanna, he's big enough I wanna show the camera. I have to get him over here though. I can't land crap um, on this bank. I'll slide right into the water. Wow. Holy cow, what a day. This is just creek fishing at its best. I'm gonna try and do a shot where his uh, teeth are exposed, but what a fish. Never been so happy to catch a gar. Just catching buffaloes and channels and whatever we can today. I'm very, very scared of gar, but very violent. Their scales are sharp. What a blessing it is to be here. It's a little chilly here with my t-shirt on, but the sun has just made it such a joyous and beautiful day. I mean, the fishing's been pretty awesome too. Um, I'm just really, really happy to be here. I love to fish, man. I, I don't know what else to say, but I love catching big cats, but it's not all about big cats, man. All of this life out here is unique and it's it's diverse and uh, it's exciting, you know? You never know what you're gonna catch when you go fishing and that's probably why I really like it. But um, I'm just grateful to be here. We've got not a lot of time left, let's see. Gotta leave it at four and it's 328. So we got 30 minutes, make something happen. something on the worm. Be it a carp. It's kind of big. Loosen that drag up. Right before it's time to go. I love it. Don't know what it is. I really hope it's a carp in my heart of hearts. Wow. Wow. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What a day, what a great way to end the day. I haven't had a bite in like an hour. Uh, oh, wow. Can't believe I didn't eat it right there. Yeah, he hit that pretty good, man. I was taking a little B-roll shot and uh, had this get slammed over. I had to throw my camera on real quick. Yeah, good one, good one. Well. Last fish of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one here on Chasing the Moby. I love buffaloes. <laughs>